section 3.6 review, calculators are not allowed. For these three problems on number 5, the question is, what is the equation for the tangent line? So, in order to find equations of tangent lines, we need to have a point and we need to have a slope for all three. So first let's talk about how we get the point. The point will have as its x-coordinate the value that is given to us. The y-coordinate comes from plugging this into the function that gives us the y-value. So to get the y-value, we will have the tangent inverse of root 3. This is asking us, what angle did I take the tangent of that gave me a root 3? So if we think about our unit circle, the tangent will be the sine over the cosine, which is the y-coordinate over the x-coordinate. So I need a y-coordinate over an x-coordinate to give me that root 3. So essentially I'm looking at this point where the y-coordinate has the root 3 in it and the x-coordinate has the 1. So if I take this and I divide by this, my 2's will cancel and I'll be left with that root 3. So that value was pi over 3. So the point that we're going to use will be root 3 comma pi over 3. The slope now, if you recall, will be the derivative evaluated at the point. So before we can figure out what that is, we actually have to take the derivative. So we need to remember how to take the derivative of a tangent inverse. The derivative of a tangent inverse is 1 over 1 plus whatever's inside that tangent inverse squared times the derivative of what was inside, which in this case is a 1. So if I now evaluate this at a root 3, I'm plugging in a root 3 for x and then squaring it. That gives me a 3 or a slope of 1 fourth. Now that I have the point and I have the slope, I can write the equation of the line, which is y equals the slope times x minus the x-coordinate of the point plus the y-coordinate of the point, and I'm done. So let's look at b. b works the same way, only now it's a sine inverse, and we're going to have a little bit of a chain rule. Again, we need a point, and we need a slope. The point, we've got the x-coordinate, is root 2 over 4. The y-coordinate will come from plugging that value into the function. So this function is asking, what is the angle whose sine is double that? So that would be a root 2 over 2. So what's the angle whose sine, or whose y-coordinate on the unit circle, was a root 2 over 2? Well, hopefully you all remember that that one is pi over 4. So now we have the point, and we still need the slope. The slope is the y's derivative evaluated at the point. So that means we need to take the derivative to figure out what it is. Well, derivatives of sine inverse are 1 over the square root of 1 minus whatever's inside the sine inverse squared times the derivative of what's inside. So we end up with a 2 on top and a square root of a 1 minus a 4x squared on the bottom. So if I plug this into the slope in order to find, or this into the derivative, in order to find the slope of the line, we'll have a 2 over a square root of a 1 minus. If I multiply, well first I have to square this, so that would give me a 2 over a 16, and then I need to multiply it by a 4. So if I finish that up, I get a 2 over a square root of a 1 minus, on top I have an 8, on the bottom I have a 16, so that gives me a half. So inside that radical on the bottom, I have a square root of a half. Well, dividing by that radical is the same as multiplying by that radical's reciprocal, so I end up with a 2 root 2 as my slope. So now that I've got my point and my slope, I can write the equation of my line, which will be y equals the slope times x minus the x-coordinate plus the y-coordinate. Last one, number part C. I'll scoot this up here. Instructions are still the same. 
We want an equation of a tangent line, so we need a point and we need a slope. The point is the x-coordinate of negative 1 plugged in to the function, so the cosine inverse of 1 negative over 2. So this is asking what angle gave me a cosine of a negative 1 half? So if we think about our unit circle, cosine is the x-coordinate and we want it to be a negative 1 half. We end up with 2 pi's over 3. So there's my point, now I need my slope. The slope is the derivative evaluated at the point. So we need to find the derivative first. Derivative of cosine inverses are negative 1 over the square root of 1 minus whatever's inside here, squared, times the derivative of the inside. Simplify that, I have a negative 1 over a 2 times the square root of 1 minus an x squared over a 4. So now we need to evaluate this when the x coordinate is negative 1. So on top I have a negative 1, on the bottom I have a 2 times the square root of a 1 minus, if I square that negative 1 it becomes a positive 1. So I have a negative 1 on top, a 2 root 3 fourths, and notice that a 4 on the bottom is going to cancel with this 2 because it will come out as a 2. So I'm left with a negative 1 over root 3, or a negative root 3 over 3. Your choice looks like I did this version. Put them together in equation of a line. We get y equals that slope times x minus the x coordinate plus the y coordinate. And we're done.